Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. And we just had a huge monster surge. So we're right at the monster limit now. We have to do much killing. And we have some really nasty monsters on the table. We've got a dark one, which is a three to kill, three damage to both sanity and health. It's got nightmarish, very nasty. We've also got a star spawn on the table, which is arguably worse because <laughs> it's negative three on the modifier. Uh, this one is only negative one. So once you get through the terrible horror of looking at the thing, you, it's actually not too hard to kill if you've got a decent dice pool. Okay, so it is... We've almost done our first round. I think we started on Caroline. So we've got another... We've almost done one round. But on the plus side, we're doing very well gate-wise. We've got one gate sealed, two gates sealed. We've got three, four gates about to be sealed. We have a clues and we have a blessed character coming out. Plus the other character has an elder sign. And because we've just had two surges in a row, we've only got three doom tokens because we've sealed both of those with Elder Signs. That's one thing about the eight-player game. See, I thought the eight-player game would be extremely hard, but I actually think it's easier. You just have so many items. You just have every single awesome item in the game. And the trading rules, uh, you know, as long as you're trading and constantly swapping them around so everyone has the right items all the time, your characters are very powerful because the power is on the table somewhere because it's all the, all the, there's so many cards drawn. You just have to logistically move them around so the right people have them at the right time. And it's uh, surprisingly uh, a lot easier than I thought. Anyway, let's get into it. We are at Harvey. Now, he's full health, and he doesn't have a lot of action, really. He's, he's got Shriveling, and he's got Wither. Now, Shriveling is a minus uh, sanity. He doesn't really have any nice weapons. What's over here? We've got a gate box. We've got a holy water. We've got a lamp. Oh, God, it's like these are all stacked on top of each other. Right, so this is double-handed to combat. Okay, so what he's going to do is he's going to put his will up one. How much movement does he need? He only needs... He needs three movements, so he leaves his movement, and he put his law up by one with his two focus. And he's going to go one, two, and fight both these monsters. But before he fights those monsters, he's going to trade. He's going to take the deck box. He's going to take the flute of the outer gods. And he's going to take the healing stone and he's going to take the lamp. Yoink. He's got four clues. We actually need one more gate seal, don't we? She's got six clues. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so she's he's taken all that junk. And now he's going to fight these monsters. Now these monsters are fairly nasty. Now, we can actually eat all this sanity if we fail, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's do this guy first. So it's minus two. He's got a will of three, so that's one die. You have a 50-50 chance of making this. Ya blamo. Ya blamo. Ya blamo. Okay, that's a fail, so we're going to eat two sanity. Then it's the combat time. Now this is negative three. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the lamp, which is plus five to combat. So that's five, and we just go you know, one, two, three. So we're rolling two dice, but there are blessed dice. And this lamp is... Uh, 
This lamp is plus five to combat check, so we should be fine. You bam! Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, so that's the one damage. This guy is killed. Now we have this bloke. Now this guy has nightmarish, which means we take a sanity loss regardless just by looking at it. The earth shook as the thud of giant hooved feet grew ever closer. <laughs> oh, the terror. Okay, so this one is zero modifier to the sanity. So we just go, yeah, blam. Oh, wow. Three, three successes. Nice. So no sanity loss. Then we are not going to use the lamp this time. We're going to buff it up a little bit. We're going to use Wither, which is a Law 0, 0. So we have 6 Law, so we're definitely going to win this. Because Wither is one-handed and Shriveling is one-handed. We're going to cast both of these. Okay, so we've got, we've got Wither. Now Shriveling costs us sanity. And it's a minus, so we're actually going to get to roll five, but that should definitely also win. Okay, so now we have six combat plus three combat, which is nine minus one, and we're looking for three successes. Easy. Bamo. Okay, so that's two nasty monsters cleared up. And now it is Jenny's turn. So Jenny is down here. She is also blessed and she has quite a bit of action as well. Uh... I think she's going to start moving her law down slowly. She gets one dollar from her, you know, whatever. Now, I don't want to send her in here into Relia. But I do want to kill monsters. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And during that movement... She's already at three movement. She's going to give the motorcycle to the doctor. And she really needs a one handed. Yeah, she's giving the motorcycle to the doctor. And she's going to give all the money to the doctor as well. Okay, so she's going to fight the witch now. The witch, his magical resistance has no sanity check, but is minus three. She was lovely and terrible all at once. A strange light shone in her eyes as she chanted, Ila Ila Shubnugarath, the goat of a thousand young. <laughs> okay, whatever. The point is it's negative three combat. So she's going to use four combat, plus four combat, that's eight combat. Oh, she's got magical resistance. So that is four combat plus two combat, because it's halved. That's six combat, plus she has a combat of four to start with. So that is one, two, three, four, plus one, two, three, four, plus one, two, minus one, two, three. Beautiful. So just to recheck, because she has magical resistance, this is halved. But it's still worth using. I mean, two dice is better than no dice. So that's uh, four, five, six, ten, minus three. We only need one success. She is blessed. So this is probably a no-brainer. I will take a coffee sip while my roll is happening. Awesome. So she's dead as well. Yoink. Okay, now we have Amanda. Amanda and Caroline are both in the other world. I'm just going to move them both across. 
Uh, Caroline is... Where's Caroline? Okay, Caroline's up here. Oh, well, we're going to take this clue, aren't we? One, two. She gains one sanity. We do have a motorcycle. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six to the hospital. What she got, she's got the motorcycle. She also has a shotgun. Maybe she can kill something. I really should go to the administration building more in my games. I very rarely go, but there's so much money floating around the night player game. You can really activate this a lot easier. Eight dollars, get two skills. Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to... Oh, we just moved it, didn't we? Was she already in the... No, I moved it and just picked up a skill. What am I talking about? Did I just move her and pick up a skill? I did. So she went one, two, and picked up that skill. I don't know why. I'm, I'm thinking of moving her down to here, and I thought, I've already moved her. <laughs> so she's picked up a skill. She's got two stamina left. Does any of these not kill stamina? Lose two sanity and discard... Okay, she's got this thing. So, she has a motorcycle, so she needs to move that up one. That gives her the two movement to get into the roadhouse. And she then has the two movement to cut to spend time reading this. And it's a law minus one, so she's going to spend one more to move this up. That's her two and then she has five minus two. Oh God, not, she hasn't got red, she hasn't got blue dice. Doesn't matter. Okay, so that costs uh, two sanity, which she can get back pretty easily. And she gains one spell and one clue. Voice of Ra, very nice spell. Okay, Mandy is also in here. Now, she doesn't really have any action. So what she's going to do is she's going to go one, two, three, four, pick up this clue. So she's going to move that to get to four. And while she's doing this, so she's got this great little, she's got stealth, pallid mask, and dark cloak. I wonder, did this, does this com combo with this? Yeah, it actually doesn't. I, I just looked this up and it makes so much sense. I should have uh, known this. I don't know why I always wasn't thinking clearly. But basically, this is a spell that you cast to automatically pass an evade check. It's not an evade check itself. So you roll the for the spell, you know, using the modifiers and everything. And if you pass the spell, you automatically pass the evade check. So it actually is bypassing the evade check. And in fact, if you fail the spell, you can still do the evade check normally because you haven't actually done an evade check. It's just a spell. So her bonuses to evade checks do not affect the spell itself. So even though, so there's no point in trying to get her this spell. It's much better to be on Dexter, who uh, has the five law, basically giving him a permanent five evade. Okay, we'll take you back to our regular scheduled programming. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look, she had find gate. When did she get that? I should have used that last turn. There's no point in using it. Oh, I guess I could use it this turn. 
Actually, I'm going to use it this turn. I didn't realize she had Fine Gate. So she actually casts Fine Gate. So she uses her... So instead of her movement... Let me just quickly finish Mandy's turn, though, before I forget what's happening. So she needs to move... Four... No, she's already done that turn. Yeah, so she moved up to here. And while, oh yeah, while she was moving through these three people, she's going to do some trading. She's going to take all the money from the doctor. Oh, except he's going to leave for $2. She's got 20 bucks. That's going to be plenty to find the last Elder Sign. And also, I want to give her some kind of, why did he take the healing stone? Oh yeah, because he got so badly hit. I think I'll take the, I'll take the lamp, just so she's got a little bit of combat in case she needs it. Okay, and anyway, back to Amanda. Amanda actually has Find Gate. So she has, I don't think we, we touched any of her stuff. So she's got three movements still. So that's one, two, three. She is going to minus one sanity and cast three dice. She has no bonuses, so we need boom. Oh, it's a fail. We're going to use Mandy's ability to re-roll that. Nice. Okay, move. Cast an exhaust to immediately return to Arkham from the outer world. So instead of moving, she's going to come back to Relia. Yoink. Now, because she has the explored marker and it's the first turn, she doesn't have to deal with these monsters. Okay, she doesn't have to fight these monsters this turn. She will next turn. Now, if we're lucky, this has got pluses. That'll get rid of the star spawn. Excellent. See, when you delete, I, I actually forgot to do this when I closed the other gates, but when you close a gate, it actually removes from the board any monsters with a matching dimensional symbol. So we've got diamonds and pluses. So when she closes that gate, that star spawn is going to go away, which is awesome. Okay, now this girl, she's already moved, and I think... Uh, Look at her will is so high. I think I'll just leave it the way it is. She's not going to change anything. Okay, Dexter. Now, Dexter is still up here. He's going to do Book of Dazan again. So he's going to lose a sanity. He's going to roll his four lore. And that puts another stamina token on here, assuming we pass, which we do. Right, so that gets discarded, and we draw two spells. Okay, what have we got? Another find gate. And we have another red sign of Shittle Mel. Uh, I'm going to take the find gate. I do love this spell, but I haven't had, I'm not going to get a chance to use it, I don't think. Okay, and Vincent. Vincent, we gave him the motorcycle, so he has top plus two movement. So he's going to go one, two, and go one, two, three, four. Okay, he doesn't need to go one, two, he just needs to go one. And he's into the asylum. 
Okay, so now we're over here. It's the action phase or whatever you call it. There, uh, what is going on here? Oh, that's the black cave. Okay, so he's in the streets, no action. She's in the streets, no action. Amanda is in French Hill. She's going to take a sanity and a stamina hit and do the elder sign. Your blam. That uh, gets rid of this token. It also gets rid of this thing without having to do that horrible check because it's minus four. Remember, this guy means that closing gates, that's the middle text in the middle, key and the gate, uh, all gate things are increased by one. So that was actually minus four. So we needed an old sign to count that. I'm going to rescan all these things, all these, all the gates. They, they look very bad, I reckon. I'm going to redo all of them. Uh, I'm confusing myself. What did I say? Oh, yeah. So, but it has a plus symbol on it, which means all the pluses get sent back to the cup, including the star spawn. You boy, go away. And we also get another elder sign token. You blamo. So that's one, two, three Elder Sign tokens already. Beautiful. So we're getting closer. We only need six to win. So we're halfway through. Okay, Caroline is at the Hibbs Roadhouse. Pass a luck minus one check or a pickpocket cleans you out. Lose all your money. Oh, we've only got three dollars, so who really cares? We have a luck at two. Be nice not to lose this because I wanted to send her to the. Uh, we've already used Mandy's ability, so we'll just lose that three dollars. That's not very cool. Mandy is in the graveyard. You find a half-buried corpse of a strange being. Draw a monster from the cup and take it as a monster trophy, even if it has the endless ability. Oh, it's an elder thing. Bonk. Nice. It's a two power. Okay, here, Bonk. Uh, Dexter is still at the sanatorium, so he gets his sanity back. Uh, where is uh, the doctor again? He's at the sanatorium as well, isn't he? Yeah. So he's going to spend $2 to get all this sanity back. So basically, if you spend the turn here, you can get one sanity free, or you can spend $2 to return it all. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five. So he is at max sanity and ready to grumble again. And we still have Gloria in the outer world. So she gets to draw using her ability two cards per thing. So we're looking for reds and greens. Your blamo. Wow, there is one in here somewhere. There's a green. I'm probably gonna change this uh, button so it automatically draws. I've set it up for it, but I haven't got around to it. God, there's another one. So all the cards are marked with uh, green or red. So the, the, there's, the code is ready for me to automatically draw until we get the right one. I just haven't set it up yet. It is on my list of things to do. Plateau of Lang. Okay. You wander the frozen wastes and no encounter. That's pretty good. And other. Carefully you avoid the gaze of a gigantic eye watching an altar. You may try to pass a sneak minus one trek to steal a scroll from the dais. Draw one spell. If you fail, you're wrecked by pain and lose three sanity. Okay, well, three sanity will actually kill me. So uh, pass on that. We're just going to take this one. No encounter. You blamo. Okay, that's the end of that. Let's do a new Mythos card. Yablemo. Okay, it's a new environment, so the 
Man in Black has gone away. Oh, look, another black cave. That, that's ridiculous. Okay, so that's another surge, which means we don't get any Doom tokens, which, frankly, at this stage, I would have preferred that to monsters. Uh, okay, so we've been pretty lucky on the gate draws. What have we got here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the board. That means we can only draw four monsters and then this has to go up by four. So we're going to draw four monsters. So we'll go one, two, three, four. That's one, two, oh, a grug, three, another black young and four and then this goes up four one two three four which closes here now don't we have to lose an ally every time it goes up I think every time it goes up we lose an ally if I remember correctly Right, yeah. So for each point of terror goes up, return to the box of a, a random unclaimed ally. And also when it reaches three, the general store shuts. Okay, so we've gone up to four. So the general store is shut. And uh, we also need to draw uh, one, two, three, four. Who do we lose? We lose Tom the Mountain. Beautiful. He's a great one. Will and Sneak, plus a common item. He's also very cool. All of these people are awesome. Ally, she's all right. Plus two luck is actually very good. Duke, love Duke. Okay, so we lost a couple of people. Now, we did draw a Grug, which is one of the worst monsters, in my opinion. It's got Overwhelming. It's got four damage on a failed combat check. It's very harsh. Uh, we do have the outer flute somewhere around here. Yeah, this guy's got the outer flute, so he can actually go down and kill all of those in one go. We've got a high priest as well. Another gaunt. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, do the movement. So we have moon and pluses so we just sent all the pluses to the cup so there should no not be any pluses but we do have a bunch of moons so the cultists are really out in force right now moon moon oh there's a plus oh look at that that's really annoying both our combat people are going to be held down uh, is there any moons up here? No. Okay, so that is that. What else have we got? Clue appears at the Hibs Roadhouse. That's nice. We've actually got a person there, so it just goes straight on her pile. Okay, sneak checks in Arkham are made at a minus one penalty. Will checks in Arkham are made at a bonus plus one. That's going to be very helpful. The Haunter in the Darkness is in play. Return it to the cup. I don't think it is. Young Warlock. No. Okay, so... Yeah, you can see how quickly the Terror Track can move in this game. Because normally you have a little buffer. So when things go over the monster limit, they go into the outskirts. But now, because the outskirts are zero, every single monster added to the table above 11 goes straight into the terror track. So we should have 11 on the table. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there's 2 in the sky. Oh, man. Can't be many more. <laughs> if only she had the uh, the gate box. Oh well. 
because uh, it would have been really nice to close that. I think we've had we've had, we've had like three of these in a row, haven't we? No, just two. What have we actually had? No, unnameable, black cave, lodge, witch house. Yeah, so we've had three black caves. Not cool. Okay, well that's the end of that, and I'll see you guys next time.